Hi, I'm Ella, and welcome to another Dice Tower preview. Have you ever wanted Marvel heroes to fight each other just to see who wins? Well, you can in Marvel Dice Throne. In this 2 to 6 player game, you can play as Scarlet Witch, Thor, Loki, Spider Man, Captain Marvel, or Black Panther. No matter what set you have, you can mix and match them for maximum fun. One of the nice things about this game is that each hero comes in their own storage case, which makes storing the game so easy. Each player will get a hero board, a hero leaflet, tokens, a health dial, a combat points dial, a deck of cards, and of course, dice. You start with four cards in your hand. Now it's time to battle using your super special powers. So beginning with the start player, you take turns trying to knock each other out. There are eight phases during your turn, as seen here in your player reference. You start with the upkeep phase where you check all the positive and negative status effects. For example, Black Panther has kinetic energy. When it goes beyond eight, you remove all these tokens and get two combat points, draw two cards, and deal five damage to an enemy. Each character has unique effects and makes it feel like you're really playing as that hero. Next phase is the income phase where you get one combat point and draw one card. And then we go to the main phase. You can perform three types of actions as many times as you like in any order that you want. One action is to sell any number of cards in your hand for a combat point each. You can play cards to upgrade your abilities. For example, upgrade Supernova so that instead of dealing 5 damage, you deal 7. That's major because the faster you pound your enemy, the slower they can pound you. Each card has a cost though, so make sure you can afford it. You can also play a main phase action card. You pay the cost and then do the action at the bottom. Loki can play Lokin to my eyes, which inflicts 3 spellbound. After doing all the actions you want or can, you move on to the offensive roll phase. Each character has offensive role capabilities. Scarlet Witch has Hexbolt, which can deal damage to her enemies. To use this ability, you need to roll the right dice icons. So at the start of this phase, you roll your dice. You can choose to re-roll any number of dice up to three times. Then use your dice the best way you can. During this phase, you can also play roll phase action cards. Scarlet Witch can use Chaos Manipulation, which helps her discard two Probability Manipulation to change the value of a die. There are also Instant Action cards, which can be played anytime. Thor can use Power Trip, which helps them draw one card and gain two Electrokinesis. Now, if you're playing with more than two players, you need to go through the Targeting Role phase, which means you choose a target for your abilities. If there's two players, there's really no other option but the other player. Then you go to the defensive roll phase. This is a battle so your opponent can react. Spider-Man can counter punch or use his spider sense. Notice this black ring around damage. This means the opponent can react versus a red ring which is undefendable. Captain Marvel has energy refraction. She can roll four dice and use them to do one of the things listed here. Since this is a roll phase, players can use their roll phase action cards. Then you go to another main phase and do all of the three actions available to you. Then you go to the last phase, the discard phase. You sell cards for one combat point each until you have six or fewer cards in your hand. Now one player's turn is over and then the next player goes until one hero wins by reducing their enemy's health to zero. And that was Marvel Dice Throne. You can play a team game with two players against two other players, a three-player game called King of the Hill, and other modes. Please refer to the rulebook for these variants. Again, I'm Ella. Thanks for watching the preview.